whether Gary Johnson, Bernie, Hillary, Donald, Jill Stein, or anyone else is your representative for president, there's an ugly secret that we need to expose that should unite us all. Some extremely powerful people don't want this secret out, and here it is. We don't know who won the Democratic primary. And that's really important to non-Democrats as well. Why don't we know who won the primary? Because a Harvard University study recently ranked U.S. election integrity as the lowest in all developed nations in this world. And in this election, it's become even worse. First of all, the primary winner was declared in a very atypical way. The media declared the winner on their own in a secret poll the night before six key states, including the biggest state in the country, California, we're going to vote. 2.4 million voters have been denied voting rights in the state of California because their votes haven't even been counted yet. And long-standing Democrats were bumped right off the voter rolls, had their status changed, they were misinformed, they were denied ballots. Not just in California, but in state after state after state. Polling places were closed. Poll workers tossed out ballots. Polls ran out of ballots. Polls had incorrect ballots. Understaffed polls forced people to wait on long lines for hours. There were wide discrepancies between exit polls, which are a benchmark for honest elections. We have decades old voting machines being used, machines that are easily hacked. And there's a process called flipping and dipping, where vote percentages for the two candidates can be adjusted to reflect desired percentages. It's not that unfathomable. Our voting machines are owned and run by a private corporation associated with extreme political views. And even if you're a Clinton supporter and happy on the surface with the results when we look ahead to November, we all want to assure a fair and democratic election process. I mean, a party that calls itself the Democrats, they can't win by stonewalling about irregularities that fracture the very foundation of democracy. Democrats can't claim a democratic victory over the crushed ballots of disenfranchised voters. Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, Libertarians, Greens, Independents, we must all unite to take a stand for fair elections and voter rights. That means let's start in California, go back and count every ballot and give every voter in every state with unresolved election issues the full rights to vote. Martin Luther King said it, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter.